Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual space. We're actually at Josh's dad's house. Don't worry, it's an empty house. We're not socializing with anyone. Um, if you're watching this in the future, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we just came here, well, Josh wanted to do some like cleaning up of the yard. And I was like, well, today's like the one day I can film in like nice daylight. So I brought my camera with me and I brought a bunch of stuff. Um, I thought I could do like a testing new makeup video because I have like a collective haul from Sephora. And I think, yeah, I brought some MAC stuff too. Um, yeah, I didn't really like plan this through very well. I'm sure I forgot something important, but I guess we'll see as we go. <laughs> um, so this is my box here. This is full of things that I think some things I might have shown you already, but most of it is like um, things I bought from Sephora and I just did like uh, a mini order because they're having a sale they, it's still going on I mean the day that I ordered everything it was like last day so I was like oh I better get the thing that I wanted and now it's like still on sale so yeah <laughs> but I don't know I'm still buying things I know like it's not the best time to do haul videos which is why like I just I'm just gonna use this stuff on camera um but yeah I don't know how are you guys doing? I'm still working like my at my job it's like business as usual which I'm very thankful for because a lot of people don't have jobs anymore which is really sad so yeah I'm really grateful that I work in the industry that I work in where we support essential services so we're considered essential so yeah, I'm still working 40 hours a week from home. So today's Saturday, so it's like my actual day off. Um, but yeah, just if you want to let me know how you're doing, you can comment down below or message me on Facebook. Yeah, so let's just get started. You know what I did forget? A mirror. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure I brought things that have mirrors in them, so that's okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I know I brought a sample of a serum that I wanted to use up. So I actually brought all these samples with me because they're in my box at home, just annoying me really. So I'm going to try and use as much of these as I can. And this is what I was looking for, the Caudalie Vinyl Source Serum. SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. I've actually used this already um, and I really liked it so I don't even know if I chose this as my sample but it came in my last order so I'm going to use it today because I used the Trader Joe's tea tree oil pads this morning so I don't have anything like moisturizing on my face so it looks like this. It is a serum but it's like a milky, lotion-y serum. Oh, that might have been a lot. I basically just used the whole sample, so. <laughs> I might have to let this sit for a while. Yeah, but it's really nice to come here because there's a big yard where I can like sit outside, which I was just doing. Um, Cause where, we live, well, I live in the city, as you probably know, and we don't have a yard. And also, there's people walking by all the time. Like, we're not supposed to be going out, like, socializing, but they do say, like, oh, go for a walk to get some exercise. But when you live in the city, and we all live in, like, close quarters, and everyone's going out for walks, then we're all outside, so... <laughs> I don't really know how that's beneficial because literally when I'm working at home and I look out the window, there's someone walking by like every five minutes. It's like people are outside more than they were before. So I don't know. 
I hope everyone's only going outside to like buy groceries but I don't think that's the case because the people I see are just like strolling along and if you're walking alone like how much grocery can you actually buy so yeah I don't know that's my thoughts on that um I didn't wet my sponge of course so I will do that now okay so what did I bring for I did bring a primer sample it's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. This is like the huge sample they give you. But obviously only one of these shades, maybe two can work for me. But I will use this primer. This is the little sample here. Um, it says apply with light strokes of the fingertips and massage onto face and cleavage. Well. I don't need to do that because I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> For instant radiant blurring and plumping effect, 24 hour hydration. That sounds good. Is this the primer? I'm confused because there's a shade. It says 001 Universal. I don't really know much about the Dior Backstage line, so maybe they have different primers, but this is the one that I have. I'm only going to use this much so it is kind of like tinted but I'm pretty sure it's just like going to be sheer on the face. Oh it smells nice. It feels kind of silicone-y so that would explain why it's a blurring primer because it should technically blur your pores, make your skin look smoother. Ooh, my skin feels very soft. It does, it smells good, but it's a bit strong. Like, I don't know if I want my primers to smell so fragranced, but it's fine. I think I have a lot of samples of foundation. I have the Tiny Doll Ultra Wear from Lancome. This is 24 hour wear. Apparently there's 40 shades, so I don't know what the shades are, but these are the ones that came in the sample. Full coverage long wear flawless matte finish. Mm. I don't think I want to use that today. I have the RMS Beauty Uncover Up. This here. I think this product is a concealer and a foundation. It comes in a pot. It says apply sparingly with fingers or RMS Beauty skin to skin foundation brush wherever coverage is desired. Also works great as a natural eyeshadow. Hmm. Yeah, this could be a potential one. Oh, I wanted to use this, but now it's too late. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've always wanted to try this, so I will keep that for another day. I have the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. It's the one that comes in like that bottle with the face on it. This is a light to medium coverage. Evens out skin tone and blurs imperfections with soft focus optical blurring spheres. That could be good. I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This one, I don't know if any of these are my shade. Even this lightest one here looks pretty beige. Mm. This is medium to full coverage. And the one I got in my last order is the Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I haven't really heard good things about this, but I wanted to try it for myself because, I don't know, I've seen mixed reviews. This is a weightless, buildable coverage, sublime satin finish. Hmm, that sounds nice. So... Between the RMS Uncover Up, the Benefit Hello Happy, and the Pat McGrath. I want I really want to try the Pat McGrath. 
let's just see if it's any good. Mm, yeah, this is probably the only one that will work for me. This is the shade Light 2. I don't even know if this will be enough for my face. That's all the product that you get. So I'll put it on with my finger and then use my sponge. Oh, that actually might be too light for me. Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. Hmm. This is not very easy to blend with a sponge. Bunch of people smoking weed in a group right in front of the house. What? It's like, dudes! Who? A bunch of kids! In the back? Right in the back of the house smoking a bunch of weed all together. What are you guys doing in a group? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it's looking like so far. I think it's very like pink, pink toned maybe. There is a bit left. So let me try and see if I can put some more here. This said it was medium coverage. I feel like this is not, no, it said weightless buildable coverage. So. Let's see if that is the case. It feels like a serum -y foundation, but that might just be because of the way like it's packaged. It is building up, but I don't know if it's giving me any more coverage. But you guys know I don't like full coverage um foundation anyway it just happens that i have like a big red spot here but normally i don't i don't like full coverage anyway but it's looking okay so far it looks very sheer and i think this color is too pink for me this was the shade light too i think that's as good as it's getting it looks okay, but obviously you can still see the redness in my skin. I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which I've really been wanting to try. This comes in 20 shades. These are all the shades here. The one that's going to be for me is probably Swan. This one. The lightest one really yeah that's actually the lightest shade in the whole range too so this is supposedly hydrating long wearing photo friendly and non comedogenic non comedogenic is that how you say that so that means like it doesn't it's not supposed to clog your pores it's infused with coconut water alpine rose and hyaluronic acid hmm, that sounds pretty good Let's see. Oh, and I did bring a concealer brush that I wanted to try. I think I hauled this in a video already. The Sephora number 57 brush. I got it on sale. I think it was 50% off if I remember correctly. So it's like a big fluffy brush and I'm pretty excited about it. I think this is the brush that Jessica Braun uses and raves about all the time. I'm pretty sure that's why I bought this one. I hope it's that one. Because <laughs> it looks like it works really well for her. This looks very yellow actually, this shade. So I might have all kinds of weird tones on my face today. Mmm. That was a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I might try to blend this out with the brush and then go in with my sponge. Oh, this is... <laughs> this has a lot of coverage compared to the foundation, so I think I'm going to look kind of crazy. So far, it's settling into my fine lines pretty badly. I do like this brush though. It feels very soft. It's not like scratchy or anything. I don't think these two products mesh well 
at all because it's basically just like balling up on me um yeah i was gonna say that might be the primer but i didn't put the primer like directly under my eye so i don't think it's that oh god that does not look good you can see like all this texture here that's the product like building up on itself because actually my skin is pretty good recently like it I don't have like any dry patches or flakes that I sometimes do so I don't think it's my skin like look at this see how it's just like falling up no 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 not a good combination that looks bad right and it didn't even really cover anything like I can still see discoloration no that's not very good let me just try to put a tiny bit more not even like building up it's just flaking away so I don't know if that's the concealer or the combination of the concealer and the foundation because actually I heard a lot of people love the Born This Way concealer so I'm kind of confused well I guess that's how it's gonna look <laughs> oh dear oh well it's not like I'm going anywhere right we're just playing with makeup so whatever so i guess we'll just move on to the eyes look how this looks terrible <laughs> oh dear okay so what did i bring in this box i brought two eyeshadow palettes so this one i bought a while back but i don't think i ever showed you guys i got it for 50 percent off um it's the violet voss coral crush 18 color eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette I love this packaging. I love these two colors together. Um, these are the shades, but I will open it and show you. I haven't used this yet, so, and I, have I, I think I used the Violet Boss palette that I got in a boxy charm. I think I did. I don't even remember anymore. I haven't worn makeup since like my last video probably <laughs> so these are the shades take this way so I mean obviously the name Coral Crush really goes with the inside of this palette these are all like coral shades but I just thought it looked so pretty and I love this yellowy yellowy mustardy yellow shade here it's called sunshine i do kind of wish that this shade was in the palette like this periwinkle shade because i feel like that goes really well but i mean it is called the coral crush palette so it's not gonna have all kinds of shades but um yeah i got this but i also just bought this I wasn't planning on getting this because um, if you saw my last haul, I think, I got the Amrezy palette and I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> so I was like, do I really need another ABH collab? But now this was 50% off, so I thought, okay, just get it. This is the packaging. This is, by the way, if you didn't know, the Carly Bible collab palette. I actually love this packaging you can't really tell can you tell on camera but in person when you look at this it's like an optical illusion like these things look like they're 3d but they're really not it, it is a bit raised but not really and the inside I thought was a really nice spring story a really nice spring color story um yeah like i said i wasn't planning on getting this 
it was um, 30% off and even then I was like it's still too expensive but at 50% off I think it was kind of worth it I mean I haven't tried it yet it might be trash but <laughs> probably not since it's ABH and I I really like ABH's formula normally and these colors are just so pretty it looks like you could do a lot of different looks with this palette like if you just stuck to these four shades here you could do a really nice like everyday look but then you have some fun like glittery shades back here this one looks really special this yeah you can see on camera there's like different color sparkles that's called OA like the show OA um yeah I'm just kind of more drawn to this for today I think yeah let's do it I actually will use this brush right away I don't think there's a shade here that I can use as a base because I mean I could use this bare but this is not a matte shade it looks like a satiny shade actually I might be wrong maybe this is a matte shade mm, no it's a satin I mean I could use that it's not like anyone will see me because we're in quarantine Oh dear. Oh yeah. So this is the traditional like super powdery ABH formula, which I actually don't mind. I'm just trying to like set that balled up concealer. <laughs> yeah, this is not matte, but this would be a good shade like once you're done with your look, if you want to add like some brightness to the um brow bone and like to blend out anything that's a good shade for that because it will add some um, brightness so i think i'm going to do one eye off camera and then come back and try to make it look the same so that this video isn't super long and yeah we'll see how that goes i think if my under eyes didn't look so bad i would actually like this more but this is what i did um didn't really come out the way i thought it would but i used these four shades here um yeah i mean i don't have all my makeup Stuff with me if I did I probably would use a glitter glue for these shimmer shades here because um, to get them to really show up like they do in the pan I had to wet my brush but I don't have like Mac fix plus with me or anything so I use my glow recipe which is not really meant for that but yeah um, this is the best I can do with what I have I mean they blended really nicely the mattes for sure um, and this shade mandala I thought it would be very like brightening but it's more like a topper shade so yeah I'll just do what I did so I went in with the shade Cindy this like peachy shade and I just brought this like in the crease and blended it up Words. like see how easy that is to blend it's like not patchy or anything I kind of just go like really messy with that and then after I'll clean it up on the end but what I like about the ABH the mats is you can build them up pretty good normally um, they don't get like patchy or stuck you know like sometimes a matte shade when it's too pigmented it'll get stuck in an area and you can't really move it around but these are really nice and smooth and then I went in with the shade chai and I focused it more on in like directly in the crease
And to do that, I just like keep my eye open while I blend so that it doesn't go everywhere. And then I went in with the shade Libra. It's kind of like a taupey. Yeah, it's like a taupe, but it has like purpley shimmers in it. And I will wet my brush again so that I get like the best payoff. And I didn't put it on the inner corner. It kind of started like in the middle and blended it up and then like into the crease. I pretty much take all my shades like in the crease and a bit above it because um, my eyes are like pretty like deep. It, what, is, what do they call that again? Uh, deep, deep set? I don't know, I forget, but I mentioned it in another video. Um, so when I open my eyes, you can't really see the crease. So I like to bring it up a bit. Like you see how that shade is pretty sheer like it shears out so i have to use a lot of it with a wet brush but again i don't have my glitter glue and i didn't have an eye primer so you might have better luck with those and then with the same brush i just wipe it on a tissue do you want me to zoom in but now you can see my hideous under eyes. <laughs> and then with the shade Mandala. This is like a pink purple duochrome. But it doesn't pick up with the brush very well. And I want to put that in my... Sorry, you can't even see me. I want to put that in my inner corner. And like blend it over to the lid. So that those two shades kind of blend into one. Maybe I need to put some... Yeah, you could also use your finger to really make it pigmented. Yeah, okay, that's working way better with the Mandala shade. That shade feels really dry when you swatch it. So it doesn't pick up well with a brush. And then for the bottom, I just went back in with Chai. I didn't want to use uh, Cindy because my eyes already look super red on the bottom because the concealer didn't really cover anything. <laughs> and I don't want to bring that out more, so I'm just going to go in with Chai. And I just used the other end. I'm using the same brush this whole time, which like isn't the best brush for this whole look but I did bring some other brushes I just don't feel like getting them out and I pretty much brought that to the inner corner but then I went back with the mandala shade and I just put that I just put that in the corner here to like make it brighter and then I just went back in with the other um, end of the brush just to blend them all together. And then with the shade Bare, the first shade I used, I just tap my brush in and I put that on the brow bone. This just, like I said in the beginning, it just adds some brightness and like helps to blend the free shade down. And then just to clean the edge here, I just take my sponge that has like any leftover. Oh, I had some fallout there, but it has like any leftover foundation. So you can just swipe it away. Now you have to check if they look even. <laughs> I think this one, can be blended better here. Yeah, I don't 
I don't love this look, but it's okay. Yeah, I did think those shimmers were going to show up a bit better, but they kind of go on more as topper shades. But we'll see. I'll play around with it some more. Um, try some different looks. I feel like I went too heavy with the Cindy shade on the top, but yeah. It might come together with lashes, hopefully. I can't get over how bad my under eyes are. <laughs> they look worse than they did like without makeup on. But anyway, we'll just keep going. Um, I want to do my brows because they look really funny now that I have like full eyeshadow on. So I just brought the two products I have in my everyday drawer right now so it's my essence make me brow in the shade soft brownie brows i believe yes number three i don't like this shade very much but i'm just trying to use it up i just feel like it's too light for me i do have light brows naturally but i like them to be darker to match my hair color better you can probably hear someone's mowing their lawn this is like the first nice day we've had since like forever <laughs> since last spring I don't know it's been like really cold here for this time of year and today's finally like a real spring day so I mean that's why we came here and like did some yard work well I didn't do anything Josh did it <laughs> that looks a bit better but see how it's like this is not a good shade for me. I don't like it. I'm just gonna let that dry a bit because I also brought my e.l.f. brow gel, but I want to put that on when it's a bit drier. For mascara, I actually had something exciting, well, to me anyway. It's the Fenty um, Full Frontal Mascara. I got a sample from Sephora. I hope it's not dried up or anything. I haven't used it yet, so it shouldn't be. So this is the um, the brush. It's like flat on one side. I'm sure you've seen it before. If you watch YouTube, everyone was talking about this. But you're supposed to be able to like brush the lashes up with the wide in, and then use the flat side to like fix them so I'm gonna try that it's separating nicely not clumping at all but it feels weird to hold it on the wide side because I feel like I'm gonna get it on my lower lash it builds really well yeah I think for the bottom I'll just have to flip it over so I don't get it everywhere. Ooh, I do like that so far. I messed up a bit on the bottom but yeah it's also a bit weird to hold this tiny sample brush. But I do like it. Yeah that's like lengthening, volumizing, pretty much everything I like in a mascara not too clumpy or wet and I also even have a sample blush it's the Buxom Wanderlust um, primer infused blush I have the shade Dolly and Mykonos I think for today I want to use Mykonos it's a bit like more spring to me Oh, I did bring a brush. I actually just brought my whole brush set. I don't think I have I showed this on my channel. It's um, from Makeup Forever. My cousin gifted this to me and I was so happy. It's like a full set of Makeup Forever brushes. Um, I keep them in the plastic because I'm weird like that. But, um, I have this brush here. This is the 158. It's a dual sided brush. 
or double, double-ended, whatever you call it. These are so soft. Yeah, I think for blush, I want to use this end here. I don't know how well I'm gonna, oh, I was just going to say, I don't know how well this is going to pick up on a sample, but that's pretty pigmented. Ooh. This brush is so soft. Um, I love this already. Because <laughs> it's giving me a glow as well as, like, color so I love blushes like that. Ooh, I really like this. I always wanted to pick up one of those buxom blushes but I don't need more blush. I actually did just, I have another one here to show you but that one you'll see why I needed it. <laughs> Ooh, but I do like that. And for bronzer, I'm just going to use this one that I'm holding, the Fenty bronzer that I use all the time. And I'll just use the other end of this brush for that. Oh, I actually did bring another bronzer. My pure one. Oh well, that's okay. That one's more like a shimmery bronzer. This one's matte. Now that I have like my full face pretty much on, um, it doesn't look as bad as it did before. <laughs> the foundation looks fine except for where I put the concealer. So I really just think those two products don't go together. Sometimes that happens. I think that's it for all the samples. Now I do have a lip product also. But first I'm going to show you guys some of the other things I hauled. Where do I even begin? Okay, I'll just show you the two MAC products that I bought because I didn't buy these at Sephora. Um, they're from the new collection, the Glow Play. Is, no, that's not what it's called. I actually don't remember what this collection is called, but the blushes are called the Glow Play blush. And the highlighter is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish, which is a product they already have. But it has this super cool design that I just needed. Um, this is the shade Postmodernist Peach. I just love everything about this. I love this packaging. Even though it's like so simple, it's just plastic, but I just really like it. And the embossing on this, oh my god, doesn't it look beautiful? You kind of just want to like lick it. <laughs> it's like frosting. I don't know, I'm obsessed. And I really want to put this on my face. I think I can use this brush. Normally I wouldn't use this kind of brush for highlighting, but it's the best I can find. This is the number 108. It feels like a paintbrush. It's so nice. Whoa. That has a very pinky shift, which I was not expecting. Oh, I love it. I actually kind of like this for highlighting because it just like covers right on my cheekbone here. Oh, I really like that. It's almost like a duochrome. Like when you shift a certain way, you can see that it's more pink. But in other lighting, it's more like brighter and peachier. I love it. I love it. I honestly bought this for the packaging and the way that it looks in the pan. So I'm very happy that I actually like the product. <laughs> You can't really tell because the sun is directly on my face, but I assure you it's very nice. I like MAC highlighters a lot, actually. I feel like people don't talk about them as much as they used to, um, but I really like them. I already have blush on, but I'll show you the blush too because this is like 
everything I love about a blush. I got the shade So Natural. This is what it looks like. Actually, it's probably very similar to the Buxom blush that I just put on. It's kind of got like a glow, um, but the texture of this is like a squish. You see? <gasps> so fun. I love this, but I don't need to put any more blush on, but I just thought you might want to see this. We can get MAC at Sephora in Canada, but they didn't have this in stock when I checked, so um, I was at the mall one day before this whole pandemic began, and there was a MAC store. So I got it there and I'm very happy about that purchase. Oh, and the rest of the things I got. These two things I picked up a while ago. I actually got this for my trip that I couldn't go on that we had to cancel. But it's the Patrick Ta Major Glow on the Go Duo. I actually got one for my mom as well. It came with, well it comes with, can you even see me? Why did I fall so far down? <laughs> um, it comes with the Major Glow Body Oil, which smells divine. Like, I really got this for the smell. I don't really care for body oils. I mean, I don't, even, I don't really use them ever, so I really just got this for the smell. And also, for my trip, I thought it'd be nice, like, when we go out for dinner at night, I would have put it like on my collarbones. So I don't know when we'll be able to go on that trip, but I won't keep talking about it because I already complained in my last video. And it also came with the, um, what do they call these? Lip shine in the shade So Expensive, I'm pretty sure. The lip gloss here, I actually might, will I use that today? I think I will um, because I do have a sample that I might have used the NARS power matte lip pigment but I'm not really feeling that shade today I just want to keep the lips more simple since the eye is pretty heavy so I think I'll try that and I got the Kathleen lights uh, be well aromatic essential oils kit so these are this I wasn't planning on getting, but when I smelled it in store, I was like, oh my god. These all smell amazing. I didn't even open this yet. <laughs> oh dear. I actually just um, got a diffuser for essential oils. I got it yesterday. I've never had one before in my life, and I'm already obsessed. Last night I put lavender and copaiba i don't know what that is um and it was so nice so if you guys are essential oil lovers let me know what your favorites are because i really know nothing about it yet well i do know a bit because when i worked at aveda we had like the aveda oils but they were more like for perfumes so this is what you get in the set you get the three roller balls and actually the ball itself is a crystal which I thought was so cute and it comes with like a little velvet pouch that you can put them in when you travel it looks like this and I love Kathleen Light she's like my favorite youtuber so I was happy to get this anyway oh my god I just realized something I really should have opened this before. <laughs> so I got two of the same. Instead of getting the best one, which is the citrine one, I got two of the lavenders. Oh, no. Can I... Can I return this? Well, that's disappointing because that... That one was the best smelling one. But anyway, these still smell really good. I probably should not open this if I plan on returning it. Yeah, I won't roll it, but that's the little ball on the end is a real crystal. This one is lavender and chill. The other one is rose and reset. 
and that one has like a pink paw. <gasps> I'm so upset. Okay, well, I've never had to return anything at Sephora, so I'm not even sure how I go about that. Especially now that the stores are closed. I don't know. I guess we'll see what I do with this. But th they do smell really nice. So that's that. And I also had picked up the Urban Decay Wired 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade... What is this? I don't know. Jolt. This is like a neon green eyeliner, which I thought would be really cool for the um, waterline. I'm tempted to put it on right now. That might look weird. Yeah, I won't put that on today because I feel like it might clash with my eyeshadow. But I'm really excited to use this for like, I'll do like another video which is more like a spring like trends makeup look maybe. And then in the order I just placed recently because of the sale I was telling you about. Well, that's where I got the Carly Bible palette. But I also picked up, well, this wasn't on sale, but the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. Because um, everyone I watch on YouTube is raving about this. And I think it was Mel Thompson who first like, really got me on it. It's basically like a burgundy shade. It looks like this. It's like a brown burgundy shade that should be really nice um, on my green eyes. I feel like it's going to really make them pop if I put that in the waterline as well. That's really the only place I put eyeliners like this. I don't tempt to put them on my like lash line because I'm very bad at that <laughs> but I'm excited I got this um, but the other two things I got pretty much because they were on sale the first one is the Sephora water gel mask this was only $12 but when I got it it was like a lot smaller than I thought it'd be like for a mask I find this is kind of small size um, but this is a mask that you have to wipe off the excess, so that's why I didn't wear it today. But it's um, an amino acid water gel mask for, I think it said it was specifically for dry skin. Well, I mean, it's for hydration, so that's why I got it. And I love to try different masks, and it said... It's a natural amino acid from beet molasses and sugar cane, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I really like this new like branding of the Sephora skincare line because it's more like natural ingredients and it looks really cute. <laughs> and then the last thing I got, which is kind of like something just to treat myself. I really didn't need this, but it was like 50% off and I've been wanting this since it came out. It's the Sephora Pro Face Palette. This is the packaging. These are the shades here. And I actually got the medium shade. I know, I'm not a medium skin tone. But the light version of this, I didn't really like the shades in it. It looked very weird. Like this one's more cohesive, I feel. It looks like this. Very nice packaging. This is very heavy, like it feels expensive. And it on the inside is beautiful. I should have used this as my mirror. I'll hold it this way so I don't, so you can see. So um, it comes with basically products for your whole base, so um, bronzers, highlighters, blush, but I just loved the blushes especially. I love these tones. And even the highlighters, even though it's for a medium complexion, I feel like I can make them work. Like this one here, it has like an intense gold shift that you can't really see on camera. 
but I feel like that would be fine on my skin tone and I can mix everything together um, to create like a glowy blush look that I really like. It came with a little booklet to show you how to make different looks which I really I like when I get these because it teaches me how to use makeup. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like this first look here um, because you use the highlighter and the two blushes and I love that kind of like blush look where your highlighter and your blush are all just one. Um, it's the kind of thing I like to do with my Natasha Denona palettes, those like blush and glow palettes, is that what they're called? I really love that look. Um, so yeah, I got this. Because normally this is very expensive, especially for Sephora. I mean, it's in their, their pro line, so it's more expensive than normal, but still, I was really happy to see it on sale. I haven't used it yet, so I can't really review it, but I know, well, the reason I bought this is because two of, like, you, two YouTubers that I watch, like, all the time are Makeup by Cheryl and Babs Beauty, and they both were, like, raving about this when it came out, and that's why I had it in my loves list <clears throat> this whole time, so I finally picked it up. Um, but yeah, I think all that's left to do is put my lip gloss on. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't know how much space I have left. Um, yeah, this is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade... Oh, She's Expensive? Is that what I said before? I don't remember, but I'll find out when I edit this video. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's like a sweet mint smell. Ooh, I love it. It's not sticky at all. And I can't feel the glitters. Sometimes with shimmery glosses, they feel grainy, but this one doesn't. Oh, it smells really good. So that's the lip gloss. Oh, and I never did my brow gel, which I don't really need. The Essence Make Me Brow, it keeps your brows like pretty in place. It's just a fiber gel, if I didn't mention that before. But I like the look of my brows when they're standing up more. So that's why I'm using this. I feel like I haven't used much of this and it's almost like half gone already. So I don't know how like worth it this product is. I mean, it's only, it's e.l.f., so I think this was, like, probably, like, three dollars, but, yeah, just that I'd mention that. My setting spray, which is, as usual, the Glow Recipe, if you're new here, I'm trying to use this up because I'm scared that it's going bad. Yeah, because, yeah, because there's, like, actual watermelon in here. And I don't want it to go bad because it's like kind of expensive. But anyway, I think that's it. Why do I feel like I forgot something? I don't know. I hope you liked this video. It was kind of random. I don't know. I just wanted to film. I know I said I was going to film more because I thought I'd have, well, I do have more time technically because I don't have to commute to work anymore. Um... But still, I am working like eight hours a day, and then when I'm done, I feel like, even though I haven't left my house, I feel like I'm more lazy than I was before. I don't know if you, let me know if you guys feel like that too, but I never realized how like getting up every day and going to work was like making more structure in my life, and now I just feel like kind of lethargic all the time, so... <laughs> I don't know. I will try to film more videos and I hope that I get some motivation back. But anyway, I don't want to talk too much longer because I think my 
uh, I'm running out of memory. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. <laughs> if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!